and they're off. For the Unibet hurdle, registered as the international hurdle, this grade two, £125,000 over two miles and a furlong in the pink silk rubo is the first one to show over their first of eight flights of hurdles, leading from the mayor, La Vanvoie. It goes along in second place. Then the maroon silks of First Street in third place under James Bowen, followed by Lossy Mouth, the odds-on favourites, and the Triumph Hurdle winner from last season on a seasonal reappearance today. She's placed in fourth early on under Paul Townend and guard your dreams at the back of the five-strong field. He's back on track today for the first time since April 2022. And a horse, of course, who won this race back in 2021. Racing on, though, he approached towards flights at number two, Rubo. Rubo's out in front. We're on Love Envoie. Big jump there from the leader. First Street lands over in third. Then Lossy Mouth to his inside and guard your dreams and Sam Twist and Davis at the back. So begin to swing the left hand up out into the far side and it's Rubo. It goes along with the lead of nearing three lengths under Harry Compton from La Vanvoie in second position under Jonathan Burke. First Street back in third and Jane Spoon, Lossy Mouth and Paul Townend in fourth and guard your dreams a previous winner under Sam Twist and Davis at the back. Three flights of hurdles then on this part of the track coming up to them on the new course. And it's Rubo, Rubo in towards flight number three. And again, a beautiful jump there from the leader. La Vanvoie lands in second, only a length away to first street, is back in third. And then Lossy Mouth, and guard your dreams to the middle flight on this line. And it's Rubo, Rubo by two lengths to La Vanvoie. And then first street and Lossy Mouth. Oh, the great jump there from the leader. Rubo lands in front of La Vanvoie. The mayor in second. He was second in the fighting fifth that was rescheduled at Sandown last time. First Street is next. And then Lossy Mouth jumping up to the inside of First Street going out over that flight of hurdles. The fifth in their journey. Guard your dreams still being weighted with in the final placing. Begin to turn slightly left-handed and begin to head uphill. And on they go towards flight number six which will be three from the finish. That is Rubo, a length or so leader from La Vanvoie. Two lengths away to First Street, back in third, then Lossy Mouth. No move yet. Another great jump there from the leader. A little bit untidy at the back. Guard your dreams. He remains in last. Slightly dragged the back legs through that. So top of the hill. They'll soon be turning left-handed. They've only got two more flights of hurdles left to take in the Unibet hurdle. Rubo's trying to lead it out. He continues to show out in front for La Vanvoie in second position. First Street racing around the outside of Lossy Mouth. They're in a share for that third. And then came Guard Your Dreams. He's still got every claim from there. They begin to head down the hill on the approach towards two outs. And it's Rubo leading by a half a length over the mare La Vanvoie. Two or three lengths away to First Street. And then Lossy Mouth back in fourth. And Guard Your Dreams last off the five. Approaching two out there. Rubo landed in front, nearly joined to the outside by La Vanvoie. First Street is next. Lossy Mouth still yet to be extended in very much a handy share for that third place. And Guard Your Dreams now just been nudged along. The field advance on the bend for home. In the Unibet hurdle, Rubo with La Vanvoie now off the bridle, Lossy Mouth cruising up in behind in a challenging third. Couple of lengths then back to First Street and then came Guard Your Dreams. They're on this long run down towards the final flight of hurdles. Rubo and La Vanvoie towards the inside. Lossy Mouth appears to be absolutely cruising. She's now looming up with real menace. Here's the final hurdle and Lossy Mouth eases into the lead, picks it up and is yet to be extended by Paul Townend. She's absolutely cruising up the running. She's clear by eight lengths over La Vanvoie and Rubo. And she looks a class act on a return to action. Last year's Triumph Hurdle winner, Lossy Mouth, makes a winning return and takes the Unibet hurdle brilliantly. Home in second, La Vanvoie, then First Street, Rubo, and guard your dreams. Lossy Mouth has won the international, the Unibet international under Paul Townend. That was a pleasure to watch the whole way around. She's just lobbing away, wasting no petrol. It was a pleasure to ride yeah. her. Um, very straightforward, jumped real slick and accurate. And yeah, look, when I when, when I eventually let her go, she, she, she took off for me. It was a pleasure, yeah. Physically seen her last year. She's a big girl, isn't she? She's a beauty, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, she's done really, really well. And um, hopefully the plan they made to keep her till now, you know, it was, it, 
today it was definitely worth the wait to get on her back in here. Yeah, um, she'd be a great ride in the champion hurdle, but there's a mayor's hurdle as well, and you've got State Man and Perry Passy, you're strong. Yeah, it looks strong. There's also Constitution Hill in there, yeah. which we don't have, so we'll see. Uh, the powers above me will decide all that, and uh, we'll figure it out, but no, she, she couldn't do any more than be impressive today, and uh, no, it's brilliant. It's, it's brilliant for Rich and Susanna as well. You had a good day. I've had worse. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Thank you. The Unibet International Hurdles went away of Lozzy Mouth, owned by Suzanne and Rich Ritchie. That was awesome. Did you even watch it? No. Have you seen it yet? <laughs> no, I haven't seen it yet. I watched the last 100 yards. But um, look, they told me she was going very well at home, and it's great to see she did it on the track. So great news. And the whole way round, she was just, when you do watch it back, she was just lobbing along like a real professional, wasted no energy. Even you could have watched that live. <laughs> well, she seems to, Paul was saying she settled really well and a bit fresh but not like she can be. Yeah. From her last year here, coming down the hill, she got lit up yeah. in the, in the, in the, in the, in the um, triumph. And none of that today, he said, so that bodes well. I'm delighted for her. So it's great to have her back, and she's really a, a, a hell of a horse to look forward to. We'll see her here on the Tuesday of Cheltenham. Will it be the champion hurdle? Will it be the mayor's hurdle? Surely the champion with that mayor's allowance, Annie Power? <laughs> I think it'll be the mayor's hurdle. I think this year's plan will be... What we've talked about, actually. You're not running scared of Constitution Hill, are you? I, I wouldn't run scared of anything, but I also want to win races. And this is the, this is the, the, the dilemma that happens in our sport yeah. all the time. But also, just knowing what we learned with Boban last year and four-year-olds taking open company, it's very hard to win those races as a five-year-old. So I think what we'll do is certainly, um, I think the plan is, is the mayors at Cheltenham, the uh, Punchestown, the Andy Power, Andy Power, and then maybe a race in France. Right. We'll have entries in other races, including the champion hurdle, but I think that's the that's probably the path. And then we'll see how we go next year and maybe come back and take a crack at the champion hurdle then. A little more experience under a belt, a little more growth and uh, maturity under a belt and see what she can do. It's, a, it's been a great plan to, to give her that bit more time. Physically, we saw her last year. She's a big, robust girl that was always going to train on. Exactly. I, she looked a picture today. I mean, an absolute picture. And that was the idea. And so... Look, you're always learning in this game. We learned a lot with Boban and Melbourne this year. You know, if we go back next year, we'll do things differently. So that's the, that, that's the, whole, the plan at the moment, and um, so far, so good. We're all still learning, but you still love this place. Look at this behind you. Oh, they're very kind. I, people here are great. I've always found in this country, despite any nonsense, people take me as they find me. And you can like me or not like me, but as long as you take me as you find me, that's good enough. And I couldn't ask for anything more. People are very kind. It's great. Well done. We're delighted for you. Thanks. Cheers. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.